For anyone involved in high performance EFI tuning, accurately determining knock or detonation in an engine is one of the most critical aspects to getting your tune dialed in, getting the most power and torque out of the engine while ensuring that the engine is operating safely. Now Plex Tuning's product uses advanced digital signal processing as well as giving the tuner an audio output and a visual warning of knock level, knock threshold and when detonation is actually occurring. They've given us this product to do a review on, so let's dive in and see what we get inside the box. The Plex Knock monitor is delivered in a high quality moulded plastic case which is ideal for keeping everything in good condition and protecting it. The first thing we've got is the Bosch donut style knock sensor which is what we actually use to detect knock. We've also got all of the cables to connect the knock monitor to the knock sensor, also to power and earth and to interface with an ECU data logger or dyno and get other information from the engine such as RPM and trigger point. The knock monitor head unit itself is a high quality CNC machined alloy housing which has been anodized black. You've got a small LCD screen and some buttons on the face of it to control and set up the various functions. If we turn it over you can see we have a microphone jack for getting audio information out of the knock monitor as well as a USB cable connection for updating firmware and connecting to your laptop. There's already a lot of products on the market to help detect detonation but the Plex knock monitor has some key features that really separate it. First of all it will take an input from an ECU for engine RPM and trigger position. Now this lets it detect detonation on individual cylinders as well as setting a knock threshold relative to engine RPM. This makes the unit much more sensitive at low RPM while still allowing it to accurately detect detonation at high RPM where the engine noise signal is much much higher. The other cool feature with the Plex knock monitor is the ability to output the knock count and knock level to a third party device such as an ECU, a data logger or even a number of popular dynos. Once we've got the unit installed it's as simple as plugging in your earphones and straight away you've got knock audio. Now the unit also gives some really advanced control over that knock audio. It's got a user adjustable frequency filter so that you can zero in on the exact frequency of detonation. I found particularly the 10 kilohertz high pass filter was really good at distinguishing knock from engine noise and it gave probably the clearest knock signal, audio knock signal I've had out of a knock detection unit. Okay so we're just going to have a look at how the product works in uh, our test here and there's a couple of menus that we need to go through. First of all we have the preset that we want to use and if you really want to just make the, the product really simple you've got a couple of basic modes. One of them includes no RPM put here. We've got one with an RPM trigger which will give us our knock threshold table and then we go into the presets which we can configure to suit different engines and these are our advanced setups which will allow us to do individual cylinder knock detection. So I'm just going to go back into the main menu here and we've got our knock set up and if we go through this the first option or the first setting we need to adjust is our cylinder bore size and what this does is it pre-configures the knock monitor to uh, adjust or zero in on the center frequency of the knock uh, that we're going to see for a given bore size. So we can adjust that to suit our bore size. We've also got a knock signal gain which is an overall gain number which adjusts how strong the knock signal into the knock monitor is and we can adjust this to suit uh, different engines and make sure that we're not getting too much knock level or too little and that the unit can properly detect knock. So that's our main setting for knock. Now if we go into the monitor screen you can see we've got this unit set up for individual cylinder knock detection as I said and we've got a screen here which shows our individual cylinders as well as the current level of knock we're seeing from each of those. Besides the, beside this we've got our max knock, knock level that we've seen while the engine's been running and if I rev, rev the engine we can see that that jumps up. We've got RPM and maximum RPM down the bottom and then we've also got uh, our knock count so we can see which cylinder's been knocking and how much it's been knocking. 
If we move through, our next screen is our knock threshold table. And the line that you can see on the screen here is a threshold. And if the knock, no, knock noise goes above this threshold at any point in the RPM, it will detect or sense detonation or knock. So the first step in setting this up is to do a run on the engine with safe retarded ignition timing and make sure we've got no knock and then we can adjust the threshold to suit the particular engine. Now, while we're running the engine we can listen to the headset and make sure we aren't getting any knock. So we'll just do that now. Okay, so once we've done a run on the dyno, we can see we've got a noise profile, and this is the noise that the knock monitor has picked up from the knock sensor relative to RPM. What we can do is we can then go into the edit mode, and we can adjust the knock threshold so that it's quite close to that that noise level, that background engine noise that we're we're seeing, and you can see that that knock background engine noise is, is sort of exponential as engine RPM increases we sort of understandably get more background engine noise so we end up with a knock threshold table which is exponential to that background engine noise as well we're back sorry exponential to our engine RPM once we've got that table set up we can move back out of the edit mode and now the knock monitor will be able to detect any time the engine noise goes above that threshold. Just so we can see how well that works, what I'm going to do is go back to our individual cylinder knock mode and I'm going to run the engine at 2,500 RPM and I'm going to add some ignition timing into the engine overall and we'll see, we'll see it detect some light detonation. So we're going to do that now. We can see that we've picked up knock or detonation, we've got eight knock counts on cylinder two and three knock counts on cylinder four. You could also see that brought on a flashing orange warning light on the unit to visually indicate that we've got some detonation. So that's how simple it is to detect which cylinders you're getting detonation on. So what I'm going to do now is add some timing back into the engine and we'll do a run on the dyno and we'll look at our knock threshold table, we'll look at that view and we'll be able to see what happens when we invoke some light detonation. Okay, so what you can see now is on that run, we've had a few little points during the run where that knock noise level or engine noise level has exceeded our knock threshold. And what you can see here is we've got a knock count of 11. So it's picked up 11 knock events during that run. So again, during the run, you can see that it flashes a warning light to indicate that we've got detonation occurring. And that's an indicator for the tuner to back off and stop. And we can also see exactly whereabouts in the run that that knock or detonation occurred. There are a lot of products out there in the professional tuning market and seldom do I actually come across a product that works as well as it should do. Never mind one like this which actually exceeded my expectations. It just does everything right. It's simple enough that you can just put it in a car and go tuning, yet it's also got those advanced features that you can take advantage of if you want to spend the extra time setting them up. It's the most accurate product I've personally tested to detect detonation and what that means is it's going to let you do a better job of tuning the car, particularly one producing a lot of power, giving you that confidence that the engine is not undergoing detonation is going to allow you to get the most power out of the engine reliably. If I wanted to be picky, about the only problem I came across with the Plex knock monitor was as supplied, there's no easy way of mounting the product. 
and while that's fine if you've got it on a dyno, if you want to take the product out and test it on the road or in a race car, there's got to be an easy way of mounting it so you can still see it. We came with the, up with a really quick and easy solution though. We've mounted it to a suction cup GoPro mount and that's allowed us to put it on the windscreen which works great. Altogether a great product. If you are looking for a high quality knock monitor unit, the Plex knock monitor is definitely worth a look. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.